Hello, hello everybody. This is a hand gesture pointing somewhere. It's not the middle finger. <laughs> it's the index finger pointing. And I want you to remember this gesture because I'm gonna talk about it soon. First, I wanted to share with you a conversation I had with a friend past few, few days ago. Um, she shared with me how sad and frustrated she is because one of her friends is in a really unhappy relationship. And um, she has been in that relationship with this man for a long time. And no matter how many advice she gets from my other friend, she's not making the change. And, and so this is my friend, she said, well, it really hurts me to see that she is so afraid of the pain of leaving this person, the pain and the discomfort that it's gonna bring. And when I heard of fear, oh, this could be a topic for another of my talks. And uh, so now this gesture, so I also said, you know, this is really frustrating. I know so many people who are stuck sometimes in a job that they hate, but they tell me, well, it's so painful to look for a new job. And, and I feel this frustration, really, you know, it's so painful. Just, just, it's part of the process without pain, you're not gonna get anywhere. And I was frustrated and I, I was having this conversation on Skype and on camera. So I see myself, you know, being frustrating and doing this gesture, how? <laughs> and, and then my, my mind said, uh oh. So I don't know if you ever heard this, but somebody told me that when we point at someone, when we point in a direction of you did this, this person, that, that, this person, that, three fingers point back at us. And that's why my uh oh came. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I saw myself pointing while talking about all these people that are afraid to face the discomfort. And I saw the three fingers pointing back at me and I said, okay, this is something I need to apparently face because I'm getting emotional around this. So there's probably something I am not facing around this fear. So I said, okay, I'm gonna journal about it. Well, before I even managed to journal, I had a conversation with another friend and she said, you know what, I'm just going to gym, Lucy, I'll talk to you later. We hanged up and I said, oh my gosh, I should go to gym, but I'm just so afraid of burning out and just, and then I caught it. <laughs> I'm like, damn, now I have to deal with my fear of, of not exercising, of burning out. So that was one of my fears that I discovered that is connected to my other fear. So this fear of going to gym. So what I do, I have this visual cycle, going to the gym, working really, really hard, and then not being able to move for like four days. So that, that burns me out. I don't wanna to go to gym again. And uh, so I, I'm in this vicious cycle of starting and stopping, starting and stopping, and, and I'm fed up with it. This is not part of who I wanna be. And I even didn't know that is the sphere of me burning out. So I wasn't facing this fear. And this fear is a part of my bigger vision of, of not wanting to burn out in business, not wanting to be overwhelmed, not wanting to, to really burn out because it happened to me before. I was working really hard. I was working seven days a week, 12 hours a day, and I totally burned out, I crashed. And I realized this is not the way to do this. So for a long time, I was taking it slowly, just growing really slow, but now I'm ready to grow. And still it was, you know, this, this fitness challenge was holding me back because I have a different perspective on business now. Before I was focused on growing the business and fitting my life into it. Well, after I burned out, I realized this concept doesn't work for me. Now my focus is to create my amazing life where I have amazing relationship, I have a great body, great fitness, health. Um, what else is there? Wealth, prosperity, financial freedom. This is my big life and I wanted to create a business that fits into my life instead of my life, trying to fit my life into business. That's what I did before. So now when I can face this fear about my fitness, I decided, okay, I'm gonna face it and get some tools. So I'm gonna get some advice or get, get a trainer to really get me stable in this fitness area and help me achieve what I want. I want to have, if I want to have this great life, part of it is being in my best shape possible. So I'm making commitment today that one of the tools, since we're still at the formula of, oh, let me just make it the other way so you can see it, 
of first, because now I'm aware, hey, this is my fear. Now I'm getting tools how to do it. So I'm getting advice and I'm going to create a um, schedule for myself to add my exercise and really get advice on how to do it so I don't burn out and get the support. And then, of course, move. <laughs> Literally, physically, I'll have to move in this area. So I'm making commitment by the next Monday, I'm going to have a plan and strategy how to deal with this. I'm going to probably continue working on this, but this is my commitment. Um, so I'm also asking you, what, is there something that, do you point fingers first somewhere? <laughs> Are just three fingers pointing at you? What does it mean? Where is that fear in your area? Is there something that you've been postponing for a long time? You, you hear yourself say about it, like, I keep saying, you know, I really should go to gym. I keep hearing myself and I'm getting frustrated because I'm not going. So is there something in your life that is similar that you are afraid of the pain, of the burnout, of, of the pain, of the transition, just like somebody who's stuck in a job, but they're afraid what's going to happen if, you know, there's going to be pain to apply for all these jobs and face the rejection. It's, it's painful. It's uncomfortable. Well, imagine that that's, it's part of life. Any, just the fact that we exist, our mothers had to go through a certain discomfort and pain just to give birth to us. Or let's say a butterfly that gets out of a cocoon. If it was afraid of the pain that it's going through the cocoon, it would, we would never see the butterflies, we would never see the flowers, we would never see the beauty. I actually made a post about it so you can look down below in the picture that, that's kind of a lesson from the nature. Um, so pain is part of life. It's, it's, it's up to us to face it, accept it, and create smart strategy around it, how we can work with it, how we can prepare for it, and how we can face it wisely and intelligently instead of just fearing it and, and just fight or flight reaction based on our instinct. Let's engage our higher selves and look at how we can deal with it and face it intelligently. That was it for today. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys. You are helping me tremendously in getting better at camera and also breaking through my own fears and even discovering them. This is this is amazing process for it for me and I'm super grateful. Thank you. And for tomorrow, I have a topic that is connecting to this and this is a fear. I'm going to talk about fear of unknown and I'm going to share with you my favorite firefighter story. Alrighty, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.